how are you doing? Um, it's been a while I uh, created some tutorials, so I just feel that um, I should share this one with us. No, I've been very busy. Okay, so today this tutorial I'm doing is um, Google sign in using Google identity. So um, um, you'll be wondering what do I mean by Google identity? Um, so Google has changed their, their ways of signing in now. So there are some certain things that you were able to do before. Or let me say, is the certain way we are integrating Google sign into your application has changed now. So then, if you are still using the old one and it's still working, I uh, will advise you to quickly do an upgrade because by March thirty first uh, next year, that's two thousand and three, the it's going to stop working. So, but if you're just trying to integrate now. And you want to use the old method, it's, it's still not going to work. So let's dive into uh, the new way of doing it. So let's just assume now that um, uh, you are just registering, for, you are just um, using Google Sign for the first time. The first thing you do, you make sure you have your cloud account. Okay, and it's, it's uh, free to use for some time. They will be given $300 for it. So, when you, you just come into your cloud account, first of all, you want to create an application first. But I've done that, so I'm not. You can create your new project, but I've done that, so I'm not creating any new projects. So, but the main thing is this credential that you create your credentials, then you come to OAuth client ID. So now you select. So, so what what the Google sign in want to create is for web application which is android ios you just pick so the one we want to do is for web application so you select web application now um you can give it any name any name here, but know that this name is going to appear when the user wants to uh, confirm uh, whether you no know, like the, the way google signing works now is different from for it's now kind of resembles facebook style Whereby it will, it will show, it will ask you that you want to continue, you want to grant this uh, uh, access to this application. So that's why the name here should not just be any name, at least use something that uh, makes sense. So let, for the sake of this tutorial, let's just put Google, Google sign, Google sign. So then, um so this the URL here is uh, the name of your your do your domain your domain name so um let's put Caleb dot com and so okay so then um so this authorized you are you are right this is where your um this is this is the direct way that google, uh, google sign in is going to appear where you want to use it so if let's say for example i want to use it on the adler.com home page sorry so let's say i want to use it on the adler.com home page so i'll just paste it here like this but if you have a subdomain or you subfolder, a folder where the, the maybe that's where you want to use the um, application. So you want to use the Google sign. So what you do is do you just put a slash. Um, let's say you want to call it sign in. Alright, so then when you're done with that, place this place is very very essential. In fact, all, all the three fields here are very essential. So then you click on create. So it will generate this client's idea, this token, this secret and this client. And so please, most 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 especially this one is what we need. So just copy it and save it somewhere. 
So, but if it happens that um, maybe you don't know what happened when you, you, you kept it. So you just come to your project. You see, this was the Google sign you created. So you just click on like you want to edit. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, so, just, so this is the client ID. So you just click on the client ID and just copy it. So that's all. All right. So, so now that we've done the uh, aspect of create, uh, creating our credentials, so now let us dive into the code proper. So I won't take much of our time. I, I've done one already, so so that I can test it. So it's on it's on like a shared server now. So um, now you come to the documentation here. So now, right in the documentation, I would I will try and leave this link in the description so you can just do this straight away because it was really hard for me to find my way here and I don't want you to go through that stress that's why you're following my channel and that's why you're watching this video all right so um this is the old way so we are not using the, the old way the reason to just leave, leave it here is for those that have not migrated to, to google identity so you, you this one is just to guide you and uh, you know so you can just follow out to it so uh so to those of us that we just started for the first time so this is the main code, just copy this code. Now when you copy this code, come to your page. Now let me show you something. So the, now this is the Google sign-in folder. It has the index.html. So you can't just, you can't click on, how will I put it? You, it must be normally on a server and just you, you, like if you want to create a subfolder for it just as i've done here fine all, all, all good but ensure that um it's not like a page it's not like um you have your signing in a particular page that it wasn't referenced when you're creating the uh credential so so okay so now we've copied the code we just paste it here now you, you may be wondering why i have uh this one here like it's diff a little different from what is it so this one is just the basic a uh, uh, button this so this is the aspects that creates the button so you can say add more parameters so i will show you where to do that so, but let me just first for explain everything here. So, um, now this client ID, what well, this content is the client ID that we created earlier. So, you just replace it with your own, and that's a very simple. Um, uh, and also, this aspect the client ID. So, okay, so now um, let's go back to the documentation. So in the documentation, you already wrote the, your client ID, so it's very just straightforward, no, no issues. So once you are done with that, so now if you want to create more, uh, let, let me show you how the button looks like. So this, this are the button looks like now, unlike before, it's, it's a screen, so... So these are the button looks like. So you can select uh, whether anyone you want to use to sign in. Yeah. So um, now let us go to where you generate the um, where you generate the um, buttons and the parameters. So you just then right click here and uh, so you can play around. Oh, sorry. Uh, What's wrong with my network? Why is it not available? Well, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I was able to. I don't know. Maybe something's wrong with my network. 
so anyway one if there is internet on your own but just like you see a box where you generate the code is very straightforward so you just for you to have more parameters maybe you want to style the button you want it to look in a certain way you want it to be small or big so that's the aspect of this generator code so all you just you just copy the code copy the code and paste it in your script here all right so with that said now so let us move to where because when the user clicks on this button we want to get all this the information in this place here we want the information in this place so because what you want is you want to get the person's email address they have their name their their image this this area you are seeing is for the image so i think those are the basic things you want the person to use to sign up. so now when the person has clicked this button when they has clicked this button if if you don't fetch this thing nothing is going to happen so let's now go to our script so let me explain this thing to you so this and you credential response so when the when this aspect generates that button and the user clicks on it this call this there's a call back here you see this call back here so there's a call back here so this call back is this and credential response so it fetches a, a jwc uh, token so it, it's the token that will be sent to you so now when you receive the token now it's not left to you to use any method that you want to use to uh to decode it so in the process of decoding you now get the full name this given name from name image you are email anyone you want so you can choose to use any uh, the jwt library you want but uh you, this, this is the process i did i used in uh, in mine so i didn't use any library this is just plain javascript so this is the function here this is the function here and um, so it receives a parameter which is the response as credential not just the response the response comes with other payload but what we want is the credential which is the uh, jwt token so it comes with the, uh, the, the token the token is passed into this function now in this function this way aspect we do the decoding and we return it so that it can now be used here the um what is it called the payload now can be used in space so i just did the console log i'm not really interested in uh picking using those data for anything i just did it for the sake of the for this tutorial so um so so that's what you get here so don't bother about all this one so so once the user once the user clicks this button, it will fetch all this information for them and you can play around with it, um, do anything like with it. So that's just the simple and easy way of creating a, a Google login using Google Google Identity. Yeah, Google Identity. Please take note of that. So thank you very much uh, for this tutorial and. Please try to subscribe and you know, like the tutorial. So, um, if you have any questions, please just leave it in the comment section and I will do my best to answer everything. Alright, take care.